Welcome back to NBA Cinema. So today we have to talk about Steven Jackson and his comments on Austin Rivers. You know, after Austin Rivers made the statement about not wanting Bronny to play with LeBron because with that's going to come pressure and unfair scrutiny. But he goes on to say how he was the number one player uh, in the nation when he was in high school. And, of course, they have these ranking systems and everything. A lot of times it's people that's never touched a basketball or just don't know the game that's ranking these players. And Austin Rivers, he was a good high school player. But when you have someone like Anthony Davis who grew – I think eight or nine inches in high school was a point guard. You know, it's kind of hard to think anybody towards the end of the career, you know, end of the high school career was projecting anybody past Anthony Davis. You know, they had Michael Kidd Gilchrist over uh, Anthony Davis, but Anthony Davis was third on a lot of lists. But, you know, towards the end, people were looking at him as number one because he was, you know, coming into his own and growing into his body. Well, you know, you even look down in the hundreds, Pat Connaughton, uh, you have Dorian Finney-Smith, who was a five-star, you had Norman Powell down in the 50s. So what I'm saying is your ranking in high school a lot of times don't dictate who you are. You think about how much better some players get from the age of 17 to like 22, 23. That's a totally different basketball player who's confident being in a college strength and conditioning program and it is taking their game to another level. You know, we're going to listen to a little bit of what Austin said. And I'm going to show you, like, Steven Jackson and Austin Rivers' relationship over the years. People were pointing it out to me. And we're going to take a – we're going we're gonna to listen to some of those sound bites. On me, so I said, fuck it. I can't get him. I'm going to get one of your teammates. Then mm -hmm. we're going to take it like that. Who'd I'm, you get? Austin Rivers. I just had to take him out. <laughs> hey, fuck it. I I'm like, I'm looking like up, I'm either. trying to get him. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to take him out like there. Fuck dog. it, man. I don't they like had, they had, I had to do something. He's like, he nice. We're going to make some <laughs> shit, man. You would have got him too? I mean, remember when we had his like daddy that. on? His daddy was like, yeah, I know you don't like, yeah, I don't like your son. You feel <laughs> right, coach. Are you keeping it just, just back there? I mean, I hope it doesn't happen. What I, do you mean? I, I don't want to see Bronny play with his dad. I really don't. Why? I, I just, I went through something similar. Mm. It was a very similar, similar situation, but also different. I was already in the NBA when I went to go play for him. What happens is a lot of people start to discredit everything that you've done. This kid has been in the limelight since he was born. First day on Instagram, he had a million followers. He's handled it so well. He's played well in Sierra Canyon amongst talent and was able to get himself to a school like USC. Right now, his numbers don't scream pro. So if he is to go in the draft or if he gets picked, it'd be great to get picked up by a contending team that could help him put him in a situation because he does have talent. He does have uh, basketball IQ. He yeah. has potential. Him going and play with his dad, at this point in his career, just because Bronny's success isn't at a top-tier level, right. him getting drafted and playing with his dad, it just I don't want that negativity to come his way because he doesn't deserve it. Um, he's not a, a, a top-ten pick. He's not a lottery pick. He's... He's none of those things. I was all those things. And then still, when I went to go play for the Clippers, people were like, oh, you're, you're only in the league because you're not. After me being the number one player in the, in the, in the United States two years prior. Right. Of NBA players, did you see that Bronny's NIL was $7 million Yeah, that's just in high school? insane. I mean, we know why he got that. He got that because he's the son of LeBron James. But does it change the fact that he's getting it, though? I think it's crazy. Seven million? Does that make you mad? You were a top. Imagine if this was going on when you were the number one no, I mean, uh, if, player in high school. Yeah, I, I, if this was going on while I was in high school, I, I probably would have signed a $50, $60 million deal with Under Armour. If they had these type of deals in high school when I was playing with my, you know, I was the number one player in the country at the time. You know, Bronny's not even, I don't even, what is Bronny ranked? Uh, I don't know. I think it fluctuates. But let's say he's top 30. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I was there was no fluctuation with me. I was one. You know what I mean? It's a very easy number to remember. I was number one in the country. And with the mixtape era that was out then, if they had deals then in high school, I would have probably added an extra twenty to thirty million dollars in my net worth. And so Steven Jackson, he wasn't a fan of that commentary from Austin Rivers about Bronny James. And he went in the comment section of a post that, you know, was quoting Austin Rivers and what he had said about the whole thing. And he said, and your daddy not LeBron. Shut up. Then he posted something else. He said, difference is you trash Bronny not. You can't compare to him, scrub. And so I know Steven Jackson over the years has gotten a lot of flack for what seems to be hate towards LeBron James. Um, but, you know, him and Austin, 
And, and this has been a thing with Austin Rivers. You remember the Clippers players didn't like Austin Rivers, and um, it, it was a well-known thing uh, amongst you know the teammates and everything. Because Austin, yeah, you were ranked high on Rivals, Scout.com, and all those re- recruiting services back in the day. But, um, you know, by the time you got eliminated from the first round by C.J. McCollum and Lehigh when you were at Duke, and then, you know, by the time you got to the NBA, it was very apparent that, you know, you were going to have to find a niche in the NBA. Because, honestly, I saw – Austin Rivers playing high school. I seen Bradley Beal playing high school. I personally thought Bradley Beal was a much better player in high school. Now, um, and, and I'm looking at skill set that translates, you know, to the highest level. And Bradley Beal had more of that than Austin Rivers. You know, um, Austin Rivers had the ball in his hand a lot. Um, you know, he was athletic, explosive, could score in high school. But he loved that right hand, wasn't really comfortable with the ball in his left hand. Um, You know, his athleticism wasn't something that was going to overwhelm the NBA opponent. Actually, uh, Bronny James has more of that. And this is why, you know, the cream rises to the top when you get to the NBA. You see someone like Norman Powell, you know, coming off the Clippers bench still. But Norman could go start somewhere for the right team and produce um, at a very high level. He's a really good shooting guard, wing uh, type player. So, you know, it, that's irrelevant what he's talking about, you know, in high school and all that. You know, John Morant was a, a two star player, you know, by the end of his high school career, but relatively unknown for most of his high school career. That's why I say that stuff don't matter. Who's the best at 15, 16? 17 that stuff changes so much and it's so fluid because it's going to be about what situation you're in how much does the coach believe in your ability and how much do they put you in a position to showcase your ability while giving you the best chance to win and play at the highest level all that stuff is going to factor in and um you know austin rivers he, he just ain't like that now Bronny, do i think he's ready to go to the nba if he's not lebron james son absolutely not and, you know, he, he had a health scare, too. You know what I'm saying? So, we don't know exactly where Bronny would really be. That's another part of it. Like, you know, he, he's on a restriction minutes-wise because of that ordeal he went through, uh, you know, at USC, you know, when they were training in the offseason. So, a part of it is Bronny isn't getting to play to his full potential anyway because, you know, it's about him slow walking him back into um, playing those hefty minutes like that. But Bronny, you know, he he he's a very good player and he has a chance to to be good enough to play at the highest level. You know, no doubt. But you know, LeBron helps that. And to piggyback off that, Austin Rivers, he was coming up through high school. You know, when the Celtics. And Doc Rivers, when all their names was hot. I don't know why he's trying to compare that to LeBron because it's not comparable. Doc's name never held that much weight like a LeBron James. You know, that would have had to be Michael Jordan's son or something like that saying he went through something similar when he was younger if he would have been that caliber player. But that's the only thing you could really compare it to. Um, But, you know, Austin... I think some of his number one ranking came from him being Doc's son. And, you know, he was a good player, but being Doc's son helped, you know, put him over someone like a Bradley Beal, over someone like a Anthony Davis at the time. You know, I, I don't think, um, you know, that Doc being his dad during that time period when the Celtics and the Lakers were going at it, it, it didn't play no factor uh, in, in his ranking. So, um, you know, I, I get what Austin, he has a little bit of a, um, he has a little bit of truth in what he's saying about, you know, the unfair scrutiny and all that coming Bronny's way. He's, he's already been getting it anyway. But the thing I like about Bronny is you really, other than that one video that came out with him, you know, uh, a few years ago when he, when they said LeBron got back home and, and, and beat his tail 
uh, for what he was doing online. Um, Bronny has been relatively quiet on social media, you know, and he's uh, he, he's handled this thing very maturely. One of the things Bron said is he went by uh, or started going by Bronny James because he didn't want to be called LeBron James Jr. He wanted his own identity. And I remember LeBron, after initially saying, I want to play with Bronny on his uh, – you know, on his show, on, on his podcast, uh, he came back a little bit later and said, you know, I don't know if that's what Bronny wants. So somebody got in his ear and they was like, Bron, you know, does, is that what Bronny wants or is that just what you want? Obviously, somebody he really respects. And so I'm trying to think about how Bron is looking at this thing at this point, but, you know, Austin Rivers probably shouldn't speak on Bronny anymore because this is like the second time he says something. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till next time, peace.